So welcome back to French Countryside Life with another exciting edition of what the hell is he painting now? So you saw in last week's video that uh, the chimney breast been uh, reskinned with new plasterboard and um, in the meantime I've filled and sanded all the uh, the screw holes and the screws and um, yeah, it's lovely. So it just needs a couple of coats of undercoat and um, then it's uh, starting on this room, basically. All right, so let's go with that and um, let's do that. All right, so that's the first coat of undercoat on. Um, I'll stick another coat on when that's dry. It shouldn't take too long. Um, I need to get some um, decorator's cork just to seal around the edges. Um, make it look nice. Um, we're gonna pop to a place called Leroy Merlin, uh, which is like a builder's merchant. It's a big builder's merchant. Uh, a bit like uh, being here in the UK or Home Depot in the US. Not sure what there is in Australia, but I'm sure there's something equivalent. So, that's that done. And um, I reckon it's lunchtime. So, as soon as we're in France, we'll have a two hour lunch break and then uh, get back on it. So this is, I've just started uh, doing the carving of a ticky head. I'll just talk you through the design. So you've got the fierce ticky face uh, the two eyes, one closed, the nose, this will be the top lip with the teeth here and the bottom lip there. Some more frowns up here. This is a bit fierce. This gap here, the plan is I'm going to put a plank of wood in there as if Mano 2 is gripping the plank of wood between his teeth. And there'll be another smaller ticky head that this plank of wood will rest on, um, probably four feet away. So I needed to get this level and at the right height for it to be comfortable to sit on. And uh, It turns out that the height that's comfortable to sit on is much lower than you would think. So, this chair, for example, is so it's 42 centimetres that you would sit down on it. But when you look at 42 centimetres like that, that looks really low to sit down, but uh, apparently not. So the top of the um, the top of the plank is going to be 42 centimetres. Now, obviously, the plank had to be level. I've had a piece of equipment uh, for probably two years, and it was featured. This this particular piece of equipment was featured by Budo at uh, French Farmhouse Diaries, and since watching that, I think I've used it more in the past month or past few weeks than I have in the past two years. Um, you know how you just have something sitting there and you think, D we don't think about it. And uh, I just used, used to use a, uh, a big spirit level. And uh, yeah, didn't use it. But um, anyway, let me show you what I'm talking about. 
So this is an electronic laser leveler. So just a little cube, a couple of batteries in the back. And um, if you go to French Farmhouse Diaries and um, watch the episode where Bulo explains what it is and what it does, he'll be able to explain it a lot better than I can. So, uh, but let me just show you how I've applied the use of it to Manu 2. So I'll just turn this uh, spotlight off and uh, you'll see it a lot clearer. Okay. All right, so that's, that's the light off. So um, I'll switch it on. I've already set the height. So once it settles down, it locks in. You can see that the bottom line coincides with the bottom of the plank that's going to go in there. And um, it's level all the way around. So that means that when I cut that section out in order to fit the plank in, I know it's going to be level. So very useful bit of equipment. Brilliant. So um, thanks Budo for uh, highlighting it. So I forgot all about it. So it's uh, quarter past 12. Now um, I shouldn't really use a chainsaw between 12 and two because uh, it's very loud and um, people like to have their, their lunch in peace in France. So um, after lunch, um, get the chainsaw out, chop that out and do a bit more carving. Okay, so it's after lunch. So let's get on with getting this slot for the bench cut. And uh, yeah, got the chainsaw, got all, all the safety gear in the world. So uh, let's get on with it. Okay, that's it uh, cut mostly out, 
far as I can see. So uh, we'll get hammer and chisel and get this bit out and uh, tidy up afterwards. So let's get on with that. Okay, so that's that pretty much done and cut. Just uh, tidied up the bottom there with a the chainsaw, I think, and um, yeah, we're good to go. Brilliant. Please with that. So it's Saturday morning. Just use the chainsaw to take out the last of the cut at the back here so it's flush with the back of the plank. 
test fitted the plank with a couple of paint tins standing in for the small ticky head. So next job uh, is to obviously take the plank out and um, do some more carving on the on the head. Um, I think uh, rough carve the mouth I think with the teeth. So let's do that. All right, so that's made a start on the teeth. So um, time's getting on again, so uh, I need to get indoors 
make a start on that ceiling. So, yeah, let's do that. Okay, back indoors now, in the warm. The bits of oak that came out of the ticky head have gone straight on to the fire for tomorrow. I like the fire tomorrow. So everything's been recycled and reused, which is great. Speaking of the ticky head, um, James decided that me calling it Mano 2 isn't suitable and it should have a more um, suitable name. So um, we've looked and we've decided on Lono. Now Lono is one of the Hawaiian gods who's responsible for um, prosperity, agriculture, peace and music, which is perfect for the, uh, for the tiki bar outside. So from now on, it's been called Lono. So brilliant. So um, what I've got to do now is uh, get some decorated cork around the chimney breast and um, then I can start on the ceiling. So, let's crack on with that. Right up Good. Right, so we'll just uh, peel this back. That is a lovely, neat job. Brilliant. So that's the uh, the chimney breast 
all corked and sealed and lovely. So uh, yeah, pleased with that, it's come out really well. Um, I will finish off the ticky head bench uh, in part two next week. Um, I'll also uh, get some more done in here. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you can give the video a thumbs up, that'd be great. Maybe think about sharing it on social media. Press the notification bell so that you know when there's a new video up. And maybe think about subscribing if you haven't already. That'd be great. All that leaves to say is mind there you go, and I'll see you soon.